The flowing water to my right is a lifeline for those of us in southern Nevada. I'm at Wetlands Park where trails take you to a nature preserve that surrounds the Las Vegas Wash. It's an urban river that ultimately feeds into Lake Mead and is connected to the complex water cycle in our region. And ultimately that water originates from wintertime snowpack. Travel about 15 minutes upstream and you'll hit a world famous reservoir. In the 1990s and even up into 2000, the lake was brimful and this marina was operating. Hydrologist Dr. David Kramer remembers when Boulder Harbor launch was still in service. There was water throughout here all the way out to Lake Mead. Now the uh, boats would be floating over our heads uh, where we're standing right now. The white bathtub ring, a stark visual of the decline. 160 feet below the brimful level. Some scientists say that Lake Mead will never refill, uh, just with projections of how much uh, snowpack we'll get in the future. Our water cycle works like this. Precipitation falls, then flows through streams, rivers, and lakes. Then evaporation and plant transpiration gets water back to the atmosphere. It then condenses and falls as rain or snow, completing the cycle. It's nice to get rain in Las Vegas, certainly, but it doesn't really change the volume of water in Lake Mead appreciably, whereas snowmelt in the Rockies does. Snowmelt is the process of mountain snow quickly thawing out during springtime warming. We're anticipating to see about 71% of average runoff. SNWA's Bronson Mack tells me more decline is on deck. But we're going to see about a 10 foot drop in Lake Mead this year. Snowpack height helps us get an idea of how much water we'll see returned each winter. For the upper Colorado basin, we've landed at 86% of average at the end of March. But the Las Vegas basin won't add much to the equation. Today, it's at just 6% of average. Climatologists are telling us that the Colorado River Basin is going to get warmer. It is going to get drier. That means that the future of the Colorado River system is a future with less water than we have today. A warmer, drier reality is not in the distant future, as climate change is already altering the present, according to Kramer. The recent uh, 214 days without measurable rainfall was an example of these extreme events. As a result, southern Nevada remains parched with moderate to exceptional levels of drought. And that's why it has been so imperative that southern Nevadans have been on this conservation journey, this adaptation that we have been doing to become a more water efficient community so that we can live and survive and maintain our quality of life on less water today than we did 20 or 30 years ago. This has been a wintertime overview for Spring Forward, your local's guide from snowpack to sunshine. I'm Geneva Zoltek.